Point Fortin, known in the 1960s and 70s as Football Town TNT, with massive crowds flocking to the Mahaika Oval to see the likes of Steve David, Leroy De Leon, Wilfred Cave, Warren Archibald, Kenny Joseph, and Lawrence Rondon, just to name a few. In modern times, Mova will want to lay claim to that mantle of football town, if only for their massive crowds and not the overflowing of big name players. But will the point forward and faithful allow the Eastern Stallions to easily slip away with the title of best supported team in the land? Point forward and legend Wilfred Cave will not sit by and let that happen, but has a message for the present Pro League squad. Yeah, first of all, what we have to do to get a good crowd back, we have to start a win. Point people love a winning team. They don't like losing team. Um, the other thing is that what is happening now is that we have a lot of young players and we had to build and get back some of the, the senior players because if you, you check around, what you find is that most of the talented players, more talented players right now, they, they leave point and go on and play with teams like W Connection, Central, even Mova Caledonia and all these teams. So we had it, and I know these fellas want to come back. The thing is, we have to definitely start to look for a sponsor to bring back point football. Losing was, wasn't something um, point people like, right? Um, we, we, I can remember we lose a FA game to um, Blackpool. And we had a party for that night, and the party bus. The party bus because point people don't like losers. They don't like losers. We, I, I mean, there was just one of the few games that we lost. And thing, when we when we used to be playing in our times, and we come in from we come in from outside. Time we reached Tiche, everybody by the by the Savannah waiting to hear. You only hearing people saying, "Where's the scores? Where's the scores?" Because they know we win already. And it was a pleasure putting on a Civic Centre jersey and then going on to the national team. Well, we, it started with Benedicts. We, we all represent Benedicts. Then we came on to Civic Centre. Then we went on to play with national team and a few of us went on to play professional football after. So it was a pleasure when you put on that, that uniform and you run out. You know, when you hear point people, we had, we had blinks with the, the bell. We had, um, you used to have a bell and a horn. When you hear that, even though you're down, you know it's something, you know well, you had to get up, you had to get up, you had to win the game from there. This fan pointed directly to the need for commercial partners to boost the team's fortunes and facilities. I know rain doesn't stop football, rain stops cricket. <laughs> you understand? So any, any, any patrons come in and there's no shelter, we expect. The way move on and business and I'm Caledonian Madiam. Leroy Dillion is easily one of the nation's greatest with the ball and is working hard to get point back to the glory days and like his teammate called out the modern day players. To be honest, the crowd started off good in the, when, he, when the season started. Point for that, a nice crowd when the season started. You know, you all went through some bad results and the crowd doing love it. You know, other than, than wins, I'll keep asking this question what will it take to get the people back in my high cover for this season? Well, that's a, that's a difficult thing to answer, especially in point for them, because they're so used to winning. Anyway, when we were playing, and like you said, the first half of the season was was fine. We had people coming out to, to support, and then again, lack of discipline from these guys. They're not coming to training. Hence the reason Mr. Carrington left. They were doing we were second or third in the league uh, at that time, and people just stopped coming out to practice. I always say. If I sign a contract for $20, and I know if I could work harder, I would get a contract for $50, i am going for the $50. But these guys don't do that. Hence the problem that there's a big problem, a big vote, and we blame with the coaches. The last 25 or 30 years, how many national coaches have we had? About 12 or 13. So it's not the coach. It's our system, the whole system. For now, it looks like MOVA has the title of Football Town TNT. But if Point Fortin has something to say from its legends, they won't let it go that easy.